All right, guys, here we are. Um, to say that this is a huge match is, is an understatement. John Brzezik, greatest of all time. Leonidas Arcona, I'm going to say probably the guy with the steepest trajectory coming into the sport. I think you guys are the main event. Four uh, second to the main, which I, I appreciate Ingen changing that because sometimes Jerry Cataret's matches can last like oh, an eternity. Oh, really? So I'm hoping that like, they'll put, that, put him after our good match. To know, good to know. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that this is a match that so many people are looking forward to. You know, this is a, a massive match, John. Every time you're on the table, I mean, everybody's excited. Leonidas, you have, you have been hot. You have been hot. You know, your win over Schoolboy, I think, shocked a lot of people the way you did it. Um, it got you into this match here today. Um, so how are you guys feeling? I'm as prepared as I can possibly be. So I'll leave, I'll leave, it, in, I'll leave it at that. I'm not, no, I, I, because I took the match seriously. I mean, I'm not coming in here just like, oh, he's not an arm wrestler. I'm just going to, you know, just kind of skate on through. No, I, I seen what you did at Schoolboy, and I'm like, I'm going to get as prepared as I can be. I mean, I mean, honestly, I can see that because you're sitting in front of me looking huge. A little bit bigger? Yeah, no, I, I got a, some, something going on here. but I That's mean, hollow, actually. Yeah. You got to get some food in there. <laughs> no, I ate it. Right. Okay, I, okay. But, yeah, it's but yeah, just... No, uh, the last time that I saw you, it's, uh, it's been like one year ago, one and a half year ago, something like that. You are, you, you, at least you look 10 pounds heavier. I'm, I'm about what I weighed when I pulled Lexi, so I'm maybe a little lighter. What's that? Oof. A little, 245 ish. 45. Did you watch that match? Yeah, of it's course I watched it. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't know. I'm a year older, so we'll see. We'll see how things go. 60. You're 60. I can't lose against a 60 year old guy. I mean, I can't let the match go longer than 10 seconds, five seconds. Oh, <laughs> so I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be uh, aggressive. I normally go into matches lately, the last couple of years, um, being a little, little tentative and, and trying to get a groove and get the blood flowing because of the aches and pains, but. I've been preparing mentally, like, all right, just ignore that shit and just get back to the youthful hit, just hit off the go, go. So we'll see, see how it goes. So I was wondering, um, how long did you prepare for the match? Because if you say you prepare as well as you can, how, I didn't, how long I didn't, I didn't start arm wrestling again until two months ago. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I took a, quite a break. Um, and I, honestly, uh, after I got beat by Krasi, I thought, eh, that's my last match. But then when I heard they were coming to the United States, I said, okay, well, let's try to get, try, okay. get back in it uh, one more time. One more time. Always yeah. one more time. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no, it's only probably two months, two and a half months. And I changed up a little bit. I did more um, cable machines, hand, hand and wrist work, and, and try to keep from aggravating the shoulder too much with the arm wrestling. So. Hopefully it'll help me. Um, Hopefully not. I got just just real quick, just real quick. Can you all do me a favor? Can you? Just, I just want to see. Like I know, look, he's got great physique on him. But well, no, I notice his hand. He's got big. I just, right, I just want to see what's up with that thumb. Oh yeah, just, the thumb oh, might be. Just let's come on, get that thing up there. Get that thing up there. Okay. That might be the difference. That might be the difference. You're learning about arm wrestling. Okay. Yeah. This size, that size. So hat size and thumb size. The hat size and thumb size. John, was it the only chance that I get to see a can I see a hand again, please? From from uh, from that side? <laughs> Just yeah. It's not right. Yeah. It's not quite right. What what do you mean? Well, it's too big. It is Honestly, I can't and say any. It's like any, a toe. It's, it's like really a freaking big. toe. Yeah, it doesn't mean anything though. Look at the man. Yeah. He's got a little tiny stubby thumb. That's as well. They what, what about, can, can I see your? Fist? What about your wrist? Yeah, we're similar. Yeah, uh, you got one more still on the back of your hand, on the mic. But John, did you uh, expect my hand to be that big? No, 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 no. I well, I saw the video when you came. I, I don't know if they were. Well, actually, the hotel, same. I was like, Holy shit! His freaking <laughs> fist is. Yeah, yeah. It typically makes it tough to top roll, but I'm not going top roll anyway. So, John, how long has this guy been on your radar? Have you seen him? I mean, you didn't even know he was. I, I, I honestly, um, well, I do have a little bit of knowledge about him. I saw him beat Larry. Yeah. Which okay, thought, uh, you know, and I knew Larry was 
pretty good. I had pulled, I think, Larry a month or two before that, or maybe a month or two after. And if I'm messing around with Larry, Larry was legit. And yes. then you beat Larry. So yeah. I thought, okay, well, this guy's good. And then when you beat Schoolboy, of course, it, I definitely took notice. Although I don't know how I would fare against Schoolboy. He looked big. He looked massive. So it was a good accomplishment that what you did to him. Yeah. Leonidas, I mean, three years, four years into the sport, three years, a year serious. Uh, <laughs> Sounds absolutely silly, right? It's crazy. It's pretty crazy <laughs> that you have, in that amount of time, gotten yourself here at this event. You know, um, honest assessment. I mean, how, how are you feeling? How's, how's your mindset? Uh, I can't say I can't say any different than John that I prepared as much as possible for me. Um, I had 12 weeks hard training, but um, I mean, you know, sitting in front of him, it's uh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of an awkward feeling because uh, in the preparation you always think like, um, okay, I'll, I'll do it easy, always easy. But then when it comes more to the to the match day. Your mind is playing games with you, and uh, yeah. but that's all I can say. I mean, uh, I prepared very well. Twelve weeks, mm -hmm. twelve hard weeks, yeah. and uh, well, yeah, it's been a it's been a new experiment for me because it's a kind of a, a balancing act. It's not like the old days where you just arm wrestle more, just arm wrestle harder, and you know you get the gains. And now it's kind of like, all right, cross the line. So now I gotta you know just pull it back. So I'm I'm still trying to figure out what's the best version of me um, at this age, and hopefully the, the combination of what I did the last two months is going to be correct, but we'll see. It's, I think that this is the match that really so many people are looking at. It's interesting to me, I flip-flopped on this match, or I mean, I, I know, I mean, 60 now, 60, I mean, you're still here, you're still fighting with these guys on a world level. Uh, it's, it's incredible. Um, when I look at the, the stats, when I look at who is picking who, it's interesting to me that on the money side of things, like people actually putting money on the match, that actually Leonidas is ahead right now. Hmm. Yeah. Um, do you think that you're going to teach this kid a lesson or... The, you, are you here to teach him? I'm not, I'm not here to teach anybody anything. I, this is all for... for my satisfaction to, to say, yeah, no, you still can do it. And, get, and it was worth the effort to, to stay in the sport. Um, up till now, it has been worth it. So um, I'm just continuing to, you know, count my blessings and that I'm able to even still do this. So, uh, yeah, no. It's incredible to have both of you guys here. Uh, do you guys have any last words for your fans? I mean, you guys both have big followings. John, you start? Um, I'm, I'm in the best form I can be in for 60. So I, I came into this match respecting you, and this is serious for me. I've told you on the podcast I'm going to be celebrating if I can beat you. <laughs> so um, it, it's important to me. Yeah, what I can say is, uh, I mean, I'm sitting here at the table with John Brzenk and with Devin Lorette. This is absolutely crazy. I mean, uh, like you said, absolutely doing arm wrestling for such a short of time, and then uh, sitting here with uh, one of two of the greatest arm wrestlers of all time, it's uh, yeah, it is amazing, and uh, it's a big chance, and uh, obviously it's a big honor for me to uh, to pull with you. But like I said in the podcast as well, I think, and I can't be mad at you or at anyone else because most of the people are rooting for you, but I will not go easy on you. Right, that's what I can. No, say. I'm expecting a war for sure. Yeah. So hopefully there's oxygen nearby. <laughs> oh, there's not gonna be. There is not no gonna be. Oxygen. I'm telling you, this place. Is... I, I try to negotiate a longer rest period between matches. But... I mean, the, the energy is absolutely crazy oh, thin, right? Listen, it's, you guys wait. You guys are gonna be like the last match. All, right. All the oxygen will be sucked out. This of place earth. is sold out. <laughs> <laughs> it's sold out. Right. And there's gonna be 400 people trying to get into that door. Yeah, this is going Those, to be a challenge as well. well. That gets the adrenaline going. By the My time, most exciting matches yeah. are when there are tight quarters like that, standing room only, and yeah, you can yeah. just feel the, the roar. Of the, By the, the time your guys' matches up, this place is going to be freaking electric. 
You know they're going to be all exhausted. <laughs> it's going to be crazy in there. Right. Yeah. Like, your match is going to be, I'm telling you, I'm so excited about it. I cannot wait, really. I can't wait to watch you guys pull. To me, it's a main event. Uh, I don't care if you're last or not. Um, can't wait to watch you guys pull. East versus West, 14, tomorrow, Saturday afternoon. Tune in, guys. Uh, John Brzezink, Leonidas Arcona, everybody. Uh -huh.